What can be said about the jungle jumpers that hasn't already been said by Dr. McCoy in Star Trek the original series? He's dead, John. To quote the 100th President of the United States, Benjamin Franklin, In this world, nothing can be said to be certain, except death and taxes and the jungle jumpers being absolutely terrible. Now, I've done my fair share of jinxing in the past. Really though, it was just the pinkies making me eat every single utterance of their name because recency bias go burr. Whatever may be the case, jungle jumpers, let's hope you can learn a thing or two with this quick trip down memory lane. The Marble League started up in 2016 as a 16 team invitational, with the jungle jumpers declining the invitation because the Quicksilvers declined theirs as well. See, they were basically rivals in their local tournament, and with the Jawbreakers winning that in 2015 and accepting their offer for the league, the door was open for these two teams to take it. And wouldn't you know it, the Jumpers won, despite missing the first event due to jet lag. Surely this won't happen again, right? 2017 the debut of the Jungle Jumpers in the Marble League. They qualified even though they were crap in three out of the four events. But a win and block pushing let them cement a seat at the table they more or less should not have been to. Seriously, Jumpers. Basement finishes and all the other trials and you get bailed out because you weren't the Hazers? Hey, yeah, I know the Hazers don't show up until 2018, but I gotta work in that joke somehow. Anyway, a qualification is still a qualification, and believe you me, those are few and far between for your franchise. But those three basement finishes prove to be sweet, sweet foreshadowing, as you spend most of the tournament doing sweet f all. 15th, 15th, 14th, 16th. How is this the time you take dead last in block pushing? You won that in the qualifiers! And the fidget spinner collision? You can't even beat the Jawbreakers? The only reason he didn't take 16th is because Momo Momo almost f***ing died. You managed to get your first medal in Event 10, which just so happens to be your first gold and first finish above 10th place. The event in question, Archery. What? This is the event at which you decide to compete for once? Not judging, I'm just... No, yeah, I am judging. This gold takes you from the grasp of 16th place overall and into the dizzying heights of 15th place overall. But Hop puts the team on they back in the next event, cause Lord knows he let y'all down in the 5 meter sprint. They scored a bronze in the underwater race to bring your team all the way to 14th place. Ooh. So your first year in the league was a wash but at least you finished the year off strong. Is what I would say if you finished the year off strong. 2017 ended with Starry taking the win in Sand Rally, while Clementon pulled the silver for their championship title, which, <sighs> it's an image I come back to to look at every once in a while. But that's not what this video is about, no. Notice how many marbles are racing in the second heat. Seven out of eight teams. Notice who's missing? The Jungle Jumpers. They overslept after a night of partying and missed the race. The final event, they overslept. Like it or not, Jungle Jumpers. And believe you me, I like it. This is the defining moment of your franchise. We still talk about the time you didn't show up more than the times you do. This blunder slides you back into 15th place to end the season. Pop quiz. Do you know which team finished lower than the Jungle Jumpers in 2017? The Quicksilvers. Ooh wee, what a team to beat. At least they're your rival? You gotta find better rivals. One up your failure from 2017 by failing to qualify for 2018. Don't even try to blame the group structure or point handouts. You screwed yourselves over in ice dash and half pipe. At least you did well in the consolation race and the 100 meter water race, if anyone cares about those. 
just look forward to 2019. Because not only did you qualify for 2019 convincingly, you actually <sighs> had a good showing. Despite having a 16th place, two 15th place, and two 14th place finishes, a golden biathlon and surfing of all things, as well as a bronze and gravitrack slalom let you settle at 7th place overall. You didn't even miss the sand rally this time, although you still sucked in block pushing. The only teams you beat were the Pinkies and the Hazers because of course. Looking back at this year, I'm surprised you got 7th, cause you were bad. Again, look at the performances from underwater race, balancing, and rafting. It's bad. But 2020 is where the jumpers reach their potential. And when I say potential, I mean potential energy. Because the higher they climb, the harder they fall. And ain't no fall harder than the 2020 qualifiers. Leap decided to take after their name and leapt off the funnels, which resulted in a DNF. They were, however, rewarded with two consolation points after timing and scoring determined that this was a track defect, even though no other competitor messed up at the spot. Those two points put you in a four-way tie for the basement, which still put you on the outside looking in. All Leap had to do was literally not this, and they still probably would have missed qualifying, let's be real here. This is the jungle jumpers we're talking about. I wouldn't be making this video if they were a success story. At least you did well in the showdown. Except for the black hole funnel. But we can just go back to forgetting about that event. Pretty sure that everyone forgot that this event happened. So yeah, good news is that you podiumed in three of the four showdown events to guarantee a spot in the qualifiers for 2021. The bad news for you is that you're still the jungle jumpers. You thought you'd actually qualify for the 2021 Marble League, didn't you? Leap redeemed themselves in the funnels and got a much needed win, while the other three events went the typical Jungle Jumpers way. This tied you with the Midnight Wisps and put you on the outside looking in by two points. Two points don't really giveth, but two points certainly taketh away. The Jungle Jumpers experience in the 2021 showdown can be summed up with one word. Mid. Eight events. Half of them were seventh place finishes. You're still not relegated, but you're just not exciting to watch. Of course, Leap took a victory lap in funnels with a bronze to help you stay at homeostasis. Just make Leap captain already, what the fuck is Jump even doing? Even though the qualifiers and the showdown didn't go in your favor, we still have season two of Marbula 1. Surely you can't embarrass yourselves even harder than this, right? Right? Ugh, oh, damn it, I just encouraged them, didn't I? Season 2 of Marbula 1 had 12 races with 20 teams, but only 16 spots in each race. Meaning the qualifiers didn't just determine position, they determined if you're even in the race. Skip and Hop combined for 5 D and Q's. Five. You understand how bad this is, right? Season two scoring worked so that the race winner got 25 points, the racer in pole position after qualifiers would get a point, and the racer who set the fastest lap during the race would also get a point. That means that there was a potential for 27 points in any given Grand Prix. 324 possible points for the season. The Jungle Jumpers got nine. Nine. Three quarters of a point per race, letting them earn the worst point average in any JMR tournament. And those points only came in two races. They had a streak of eight races with no points, broken by one race with eight points. Gotta give them credit where credit is due though. What other team can say they increased their score 800% after just one event? Follow up another year of sh** yourself in any tournament you compete in by sh** 
putting yourself in a third straight Marble League qualifiers, taking dead last in your group with goose eggs and climbing and balancing. Might as well flounder in the 5 meter hurdles and triathlon for good measure. At least you don't have to blame the funnels this time. You don't even have to blame the triathlon! You were mathematically eliminated after hurdles! Half of the qualifier events didn't even matter! Did you set your alarms? Cause you didn't even show up! The showdown has become familiar territory for you at this point. And the basement even more so. You get another poor showing in block pushing, and a last place finish in relay. But at least you did us all a favor and got relegated. Is what I would say if you did us all a favor and got relegated. It could have been beautiful jumpers, you could have had the worst stretch of performance in history, and instead you make it out the bottom four because the hazers out choked you. All you had to do was be worse than Misty. It should have been you, jumpers! It should have been you! This is the damn problem I have with the jumpers. They suck. But they're still not the worst team. As trash as they are, they've never taken dead last in the Marble League. They've never even been relegated. The Shining Swarm and the Hazers can't even say that. The Jungle Jumpers are bad at being competitive. They are bad at not embarrassing themselves. They are bad at racing and block pushing. They took dead last in a f***ing Christmas race. Hell, they're bad at showing up most of the time. But below all this, the Jungle Jumpers are so much worse at being the worst. And that infuriates me. You could look at this tenure and easily call them the worst ever. But you can't. We still have teams like these who meet that requirement. So as the 2023 Marble League season approaches... whenever, we'll see if the Jungle Jumpers can put their failure behind them. They won't, but we can see. The other teams I've roasted in the past turned out... And if they could do it, so could the jumpers. I guess we'll find out if the JJs can jump their way out of the basement, or if they can find a new low to fall to. God, it should have been them and not the hazers. So the jungle jumpers and the pinkies finished last. Now the yellow bumblebees, crazy cat's eyes, chocolatiers are there. You can see when Leap went flying off. We'll get two consolation points. They're going to call it a track defect that launched Leap off. Potentially very scary moment there.